The Miami Open, an ATP and WTA 1000 level event, has all the top players competing for two weeks, except these two guys. The original plan was to attend Thursday night and the following Friday day session. That all changed when the forecast for Friday was all rain. Some very heavy rainfall, so the timing here looks at this point terrible. Obviously, rain chances uh, up there at 100% for tomorrow. So my Double Deuces podcast co-host had an idea. Yeah, him. Let's just make a whole day of it on Thursday. If the rain clears up, cause Florida, we go Friday. Before we continue, be sure to like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. You can also support us on Buy Me a Coffee. It really helps out the channel. We didn't quite get the early start on Thursday, but we arrived at about 12.30 p.m. Attending during the early rounds, you get to see a ton of tennis. Matches happening simultaneously on 10 courts. We hopped around between a stadium and the various outer courts. Some of the matches we got to see are Felix uh, Agarlasim on the stadium versus Walton. Brandon Nakashima lost in three sets to Alejandro Tabilo on court one. Dana Shikuri had a tough uh, straight set loss to Offner on the grandstand. Uh, Dan Evans pulled out a great win versus uh, Sanago on, also on the grandstand. It's fun watching Panko or Asta Panko uh, play a fun match against Sigmund on court one. Doubles on the outer courts were all packed, so we got to see glimpses from afar for uh, Titsipas and Kakaneus, and as well as Coco Goff and uh, Pegola. Far end of the campus, there are nine practice courts with stands. We took a beat to watch uh, some of the pros practice. We saw Manorina doing some drills, and Eubanks and Rune playing uh, some practice points. At this point, after watching a lot of tennis, we just ended up staying on site all day. It was close to 5 p.m. after watching all those matches. For the evening session, we had some pretty good seats in the stadium. First up was uh, Monfils against Leovic. Um, that was a pretty fun match. Uh, Monfils is always fun to watch play. And then uh, Rebecca against uh, Clara Talson. That was a pretty close one. It went to three sets. Uh, the next morning, we went out for a quick hit uh, at a court nearby. Yes, Miramar, tennis does rule. From there, it was rain and more rain <laughs> and more rain. So we just headed back. Uh, I'm a little bummed uh, Friday was rained out since a number of top players were scheduled to play. I think on the docket was Coco and Taylor Fritz, Andy Murray, Sinner, just to name a few. Still, it was fun and I enjoyed watching the pros play. Parking for this event, if you haven't ever been to the Hard Rock Stadium, if you have a Sun Pass, there's a slightly lower rate for the outer yellow lots. If you want better parking, you can pay for more at the orange and black lots, which is more on the stadium campus. As for single session tickets, your choices are stadium, which you get a reserved seat uh, and access to all the outer courts. Um, there's reserved reserve seating in the grandstand, which is very similar, but you just can't get in the stadium. And then there's just grounds pass, which no stadium access, but you can roam about and see all the matches happening on the outer outer court. If you have a small party, I'd wait last second to get tickets. Uh, for a sizable party, that would need more planning. And also, if you want to splurge a little, there are private suites, stadium, 72 club, and even courtside, which depending on which session can be, you know, inexpensive and affordable or very expensive. Outdoor courts outside the stadium, there's the grandstand, butch bolts, and court one with all sizable seating bleacher style available. And then from there, it's six smaller outer courts with less seating. Outside of the tennis, there are a number of places to sit and chill in the shade, uh, many sure. options for food and drinks, and places to get your tennis-related apparel. The Sunset Terrace era has, area has 
uh, second floor overlooking the Butch Bolts Court. And then the Palm Court uh, area has a similar second floor overlooking courts one through six. Early rounds, you get to see a lot of tennis. If you want to see more top players, maybe aim for the end of week one, that first weekend in between, or even beginning of week two. Most of the top players have buys in the first round. The farther you get into the tournament, obviously there's less matches and less matches playing at the same time, but you are left with better players. If you're a tennis fan and you're near one of these 1,000 level tournaments or even a Grand Slam, go. Do you have plans to attend the Miami Open? What did you think if you went? Let me know in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.